Oh, in the city of lights. Okay, there we go. What's going on everybody uh, Quentin here with another video um, so this is going to be a very short video and sh first off let me explain why I have it set up this way um, <clears throat> so <laughs> I don't my computer is not acting right so I wasn't able to do the normal view where I show my hands and I have the uh, the cord reader going on in fact let me let me turn that on so I could explain the chords that I am playing um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I have it set like this, um, for this purpose. So <laughs> hopefully, uh, you guys are able to still kind of like, you know, learn and whatnot. So we're, we're it's going to be, we're, it's going to be a very quick video. So I want to talk about, uh, high praise, well, not high praise, uh, house raising chords, but it's not like the, you know, the... Like not that stuff. I'm not gonna do that stuff. You know. So I'm um, not that stuff, but more of like the, um, you know, and we'll we'll be in uh we'll be in G flat. So. So stuff like that um, and some other little cool things you can do so not straight like praise like you know like just you know but more so like just you know for more more contemporary stuff so let me let me get my pads here Okay, so we'll be in the key of uh, key of uh, G flat, and so the scale is going to be G flat, A flat, B flat, and I'm going to refer to these as flats just for the video. G flat, A flat, B flat, <clears throat> B, D flat, E flat, F, and then G flat, F sharp, whatever you want to call it. So some of the stuff I'll do in service, like if I'm on the one, right? do stuff like this so uh, you know and all that is is you're doing a a walk down so you're in your and this is this is for like intermediate people not really beginner so what you're going to be doing is um, you're kind of keeping your thumb I mean I'm sorry your thumb your your uh, pinky on this G flat and we're starting off with a just a normal G flat minor that's going to be you know G flat B flat D flat G flat or one three five one right and we're going from that to so uh this chord Like, this is technically like a, a, a let's see, a F major 7 type chord, but really all it is, this is just uh, a D flat chord over F, I mean over a G flat, right? So we're going, and that's just a, 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 a D flat major triad, you know, D flat, F, A flat. And we're moving down because what we're going to be doing is in the left hand we're moving down from this note to this note to this note to that note and I actually
actually I learned this because I heard it on a record. Um, I think it was uh, Todd Galbert, the guy who was playing. Uh, he when they ended off the song, they did that movement, and so I, I thought it was a really cool movement to learn. So anyway, um, so once again, it's the first chord, uh, set of chords, the second, and then all this is is basically an F7, right? Um, but what you're doing is because we're moving down here, so so. So, um, so you're just moving down to this E in the right hand. It's just gonna, it's just a uh, another G flat major. So we're going G flat major, D flat major, back to G flat major. But what gives it that that you know that tension is this E right here that you're playing in your um, in your left hand, right, and then the last chord. So this chord uh, is basically going to be, it's a, excuse me, sorry. I'm sorry y'all, it's late at night. So we went from this E here, we went down a half step again to this chord. And all this is, is a, this is a B, it's a B sus2. We're just taking it up here. So I mean, I guess sus4, I don't know what. <laughs> But it's just basically going to be a D flat, G flat, B, right? And we're doing a, a G flat and an E flat in the left hand. And then we're just going back to this second chord. Because remember, we went from this chord to this chord to that chord to that chord. And I hope you, I hope you guys can see my hands well. And we're just going back to this chord and then back up. That's all. So let's try it. So I say, you're rumbling. Right? There you go. Right? And if you want to make it sound more professional, make it a sus chord. So this is a, a, a well, my chord thing is saying it's an F sharp. But I'm calling this a flat, so it's basically a G flat sus2. That's all it is. Right, that's all it is. Because we're adding it too. So instead of it being a major, we're adding that too, right? So. Or you can do this. Like what I'll do sometimes is I'll put my thumb and cover two notes at the same time. So that way I can get a deeper feel. So I'm playing the same thing, but I'm able to get more bass. Right? Okay. So, that's something you can do. Um, right? Or here. Okay, what's something else we could do? Um, so, let's talk in terms of chord progressions. Because that was a chord progression. All that was was we were just holding the one. And in, the right, in our right hand, this finger right here, we're just going from the one to the seven, to the flat seven or um, sharp six, whatever you want to call it to the six, seven, one, all while staying here. So that's a that's the chord progression, right? So let's 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 look at a, at a different chord progression. Um let's see uh, uh I got one okay right so that's something you could do um that's more of a so let's say you're rumbling again is four and I'm playing this is a B major chord uh, so you got first version second I'm sorry root position first version second version and I'm kind of like ro rolling off of that same thing here root first version second version right kind of rolling off that too this is a chord I do all the time. Um, it's like one of those add two chords. It's basically E flat, B, um, D flat. Then in this hand, it's just a sus chord. It's gonna be G flat, B, D flat, 
G flat. And then you just take the chord up a whole step. Right? So, because this is the same chord. It's the same kind of chord. I'm just playing it in different positions, like just a little, just going on a little tangent, right? So you could do, right? It's, it's the same kind of chord. I'm just moving it different ways. Right? Uh, anyway, I, I'll show you guys that too. Um, so let's, let's go back from the beginning. So. something you could do right instead of doing this you can kind of like leave some space right like doing this sounds a little cluttered but if you do it like that it's not as cluttered right um so let's yeah so that's some stuff you could do so let's say you're roll you're rumbling right and this is how i'll start this is how i'll start off a service rumbling, you know, Something else you could do, um, you can go to the flat seven, down to six, and then you can tell your band. Uh, let's say if you're if you're MD and you could tell the band, okay, uh, you'd be like, you know, uh, let's say you're on G flat, you'd be like, okay, uh, you know, flat seven, right? And you'd be like, uh, six, and then seven one. That's something I'll do in a in a service, and it's it's not straight like praise, but it's it's kind of it's high energy, right? So, so let's say you're you're on the right, left, all right, uh, sharp, uh, flat seven, six. Now this is just how I play my six. Like if I'm like if I'm by myself, I'll play it like this because if I'm if I'm with the band, I'll just play the. I'll play it like this if I have a bass player. And then. And then I'll do. You know? Or I might do. Right? Right? And then. Uh, like if I have a bass player, I'll do it that way, right? stuff like that like you know a little like you know stuff like that if I'm by myself but if you're if you don't have a bass player you know you just right and all I'm doing instead of playing <clears throat> um, octave E flat I'm going up here because in my left hand you'll see this a lot of times and I'll actually play chords playing like an F minor, right, I'm playing a B, B major, I mean, it, 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 that's just if I'm by myself, but anyway, so, uh, you know, go to the, you know, uh, flat seven, go down to the six, and then seven one, now, there's different ways you can do this, you could do, uh, play this chord right here um, <clears throat> this chord uh, I I guess you could say it's a, uh, it's, a it's a D flat major it's a, it's a D flat major um, so add add two chord over the 
this um, over the seven. You could do that, or you could just do do a, a, a D flat over F, right? Or sus. You can do a sus. Any variation of that. That's something you could do. So you can do that. Um, some other stuff you could do, like things I like to do, uh, playing with those those add two chords that I was talking about. So let's say we're rumbling in. Uh, I might do something like. So that's going to be seven, uh, flat two, two. Um, I might do three, four, or I might do four and three, and, and I'll explain. So if I'm rumbling right, so, so let's do, uh, right, or I, you know, I might do something like that, or uh, I might do. I'll do stuff like that, like one, seven, you know, three, four. So <clears throat> it's just that same add two chord, right? Just learn that chord, like you're just learning, like learn the shape, right? Right. Like just learn that chord because you can do that chord. This. In my from from what I found, this add two chord you could do it over the seven, you could do it over the six, over the two, and over the th and over the three. You can also do it um, in between, so you can do it on the on the flat two, you can do it on the flat five, um, you can even do it on the flat seven, although it sounds really weird, and then you can do it on the flat six too, right? So this is the flat six. And when I'm talking about, this is intermediate, so you know the number system, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So, uh, right. So that's that's some stuff I might do. So let's, let's, let, let me go through that again. So let's say we're rumbling. So we did this one. So what I do, I'm like, this is something that organ players will do. Like if they're about to hit a chord, it's like, I don't know the technical term. For that. It's a rumble, but you know, so I'm just like kind of hitting, um, just, just like, just, it's, it's, I'm just palming it, you know, right, flat seven, six, seven, one. That's so irritating. There we go. Okay. I don't know why he's doing that. Anyway, uh, so I can go from <clears throat> uh, seven flat two, two, so, and then do three, four. And then something I'll do is seven, one, I'm sorry, uh, one, seven. And then repeat that. But sometimes I'll just, like if I don't have a bass player, I'll, you know, I'll just do the same sus chords just without the chord up here. Right. right? Now let's do it again. Let's, let's do it again. I'm going to do a different variation. Try this. Check this out. Now, 
Now what was that? That was you know that stuff I'll do too. So basically all that is is a it's a it's the five chord over the four. So it's just a because this is a B chord. I could do so instead of playing a B chord, you're playing this D flat right over this B, right? So so uh and this is still a variation of this of that sus chord, but instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it here. See what I'm saying? Y'all see that? So and sometimes I'll you know if if it's just me, I'll do it like that. And I I'm 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 weird. Like some people don't like a lot of keyboard players. Some keyboard players don't like doing that. They they just want to they want it to sound you know like that to me that sounds empty right that just sounds better to me right uh, and then it's the same concept here uh, this is an A flat major over um, G flat so it's like an A flat major 7 chord I guess and then same variation going to the go to that sus chord right because so you can play it you can play it like this you can play it here because it's the same notes right? although that just you know so anyway so let's let's uh, let's uh, go through the sequence again so and we'll just do a, no a normal a normal major three to four So that's that's some other stuff you could do. Uh, some other things you could do on the one. Now this is a little more difficult. Um, so this would probably be more for like expert level players. Because I consider myself technically, I, I really consider myself to be intermediate. But so this is more for expert level players. So let's say you know, uh, right? Uh, so let's say you're just you know. Uh, just on the one, right? Right? And then this is something you can do, a little movement you can do. Now, what was that? <laughs> I'm going to play it slow, then I'm going to break it down. Uh, I should be using these fingers. So it's a two, so, so it's a two, three, six, seven, one. That's all it is. Uh, so, uh, right? Because that's the, that's the lead and I'm playing. Right? 
So I'll play the chords along with the um, with the. <laughs> Do. Right. And that's how I would play it. If I like if I had a bass player like holding the low note, you know. Right? It just it just sounds better that way, you know. bass player which you know some oh, most times I don't unfortunately so I have to hold it down by myself um then there's some other stuff you could do um so uh what's that let me see uh, uh so that's something you could do uh So this is kind of playing in a different so what I what I'll start doing, I'll start pulling from other keys. So just now that's something I'll pull from the key of A because A and G flat are like relative minor or relative major, whatever you want to call it. Because like if you play the A major scale from G flat to G flat, that's basically the G flat major minor scale, sorry. Right, so um So what I'll what I'll do is sometimes I'll pull from there, so like um like if we're you know crazy I might do something like this. Uh, right? I might do something like that. And that's again another uh, this is this is this is an add two chord, so that's D. Uh, so that's two. So um it's basically just a, a D chord. So you could do a a D major chord, E major chord. To a uh, to the F to the G flat major chord, right? But I'll do it this way, right? Same chord, the same chord, right? Right. Now that's that's uh that's basically a A major chord. But I'm not playing the A. And I'm going straight from the A major chord to that E chord. And then... Right? And that's something you can do, you know. It's only if I have a bass player, so uh, so you're rumbling. Sometimes I'll go straight there. Uh, and that's just playing off the off the scale. So I'll do. Uh, let's see. Uh, so because um, we're. We're, we're kind of going into 
eight. We're we're going into F uh, to G flat minor now. So minor, major, major. So G flat minor, uh, E major, add two, um, D major, add two or sus two, whichever you want you want to do, right? And then. So, this is just an E chord, and I'm playing it like this. So, B, E, G flat, B, over this uh, D flat to this chord. And what this does is it kind of it kind of expands your playing because a lot of times when I when I hear cats doing stuff, they'll just like if this and this is once again these are house raising chords so like if you're if, if you have a person who's up there you know prophesying or well, not really prophesying i'd say like let's do let's say during exhortation and you know before praise and worship or if they're trying to get you know the crowd hyped you know playing this like right sounds really like uh it sounds i i call it junior it sounds really junior it, there there's nothing like it's just empty it's bland it's like ugh, right but when you do right that just sounds so much better then you start doing stuff like this You can do stuff like that or the thing I showed you right and then you, can, you can even go down from there right to this chord everybody knows this chord And now, hold on, let me, let me, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. all right, that's, um, and I'm gonna get back to the minor part because I, I just kind of, that just kind of came to me. So, so, uh, two, three, four, one, seven, five, six, and you can do it with, you know. Six, don't play like a minor six. Play play a, a, a B sus chord or a, a four sus chord on this on the six, right? Right. Sometimes I'll do minor or I might do this, it just depends on how I feel. Right. You do that too. You can do that too. And then that thing I showed you guys. This is another, this is a weird chord right here. This is a, uh, so this right here is a, um, A flat sus two. I'm just doubling it up on the E flat over the B and it makes it sound very like full, especially if you want to stretch out, right? Same concept here. Um, this is the same kind of chord. Play these chords a lot, you know. Like if I'm doing talk music, right? But it's the same kind of chord. right? Um, and I, I know I'm going kind of fast. I'm really trying to keep the video short. I think I've already gone very long because there's so many different things you could do. So with that, uh, uh, you know, right? And that's just that's that's a that's a lead in.
like that's the kind of stuff I'll play. But anyway, so I, I'm gonna have to do a part two to this because um, there's so many different things you can do um, that I do. Um, even if you want to get into like you know. Uh, some more dark stuff but I'll, I'll go through that later but anyway appreciate you guys watching the video if you like what i'm doing hey uh, let me know and appreciate the support i'll let you guys later